Good morning, Centurions. I'm Dixie. And I'm Megan. And this, and this is Channel 97 News. Let's check out Lunch with Nolan. Today for lunch, we have a North Carolina barbecue on a bun with a chicken alfredo with the garlic knot, with your vegetables being buttery corn, honey glazed carrots, and your fruit being mixed fruit or a fresh apple. Thanks, Nolan, for that amazing lunch report. Make sure you're following this week's PBIS Focus and keep shared spaces safe and clean. And now let's check out weather with Kylie. Thanks, guys. Today for weather, it will be a high of 68 and a low of 38. The rest of the week will be cloudy, so make sure to bring a jacket. Thanks, Kylie, for that incredible weather forecast. Now let's switch gears and check out the state history with Ainsley. Destined to become one of the state's major exports, the first trainload of oranges grown by Southern California farmers left Los Angeles via the Transcontinental Railroad on this day in 1886. The helpful New California lifestyle became closely associated with the public mind with the sweet fruits that grew so abundantly in the orchards around Los Angeles. Claudette Colvin was born and raised in Montgomery, Alabama, and lived with her aunt and uncle. In high school, she was in the NAACP Youth Counselor Group. While she was in that group, she grew close with her mentor, Rosa Parks. Claudette was the pioneer of the 1950s rights movement. She refused to give up her seat to a white woman nine months before a similar event with Rosa Parks. In 1958, she moved to New York because she was shamed by neighbors because of her role in the rights movement. In 2018, she received the Congressional Award for her lifetime service to the rights movement. She will be remembered as the person who sparked the case that overturned bus segregation and led to a larger civil rights movement in America. Thanks, Ainsley, for those historical facts. Let's go to Cole for sports. Today for sports, volleyball and boys soccer had a game against Wesley yesterday. We are still waiting on those scores. On the 16th, they have a game against San Lee. Remember to support your Centurion teams. Starting in April, we have some baseball and girls soccer games. That's all for sports. Back to you all at the studio. Thanks, Cole, for that excellent sports report. Check out these lost and found items. And if they're yours, check in with Miss Sarah at the front office. If you're interested in Champions of Motion Cheer, check in, check in with the front office to get a flyer for more information. Do you want to, before we go, do you want to hear a joke? Yeah, sure. What do you call someone with a cold on Valentine's Day? I don't know. What? Love sick. That's all for Channel 97 News. Don't have a good day. Have, have a great day. day. Welcome back to Student on the Street. I'm here with Caitlin, Noah, and Carson. What grade are y'all in? Seven. Six. Six. What's your guys' favorite food? Mac and cheese. Pasta. Probably ice cream. What's your guys' favorite brand? Uh, Nike. Yeah, Nike. What's your guys' favorite sports team? Chiefs. Eagles. Chiefs. That's all for seeing on the street. Now it's time for the second part of this week's SEL lesson. Check out these questions. So, has anyone ever gossiped about you? When you found out, how did you feel? Why'd you feel like that? Did you feel like you needed to defend yourself? Or did you like the attention? Do you wish people would gossip more?